Welcome back to another episode of Timmy Ma and Duelings. Now this video it's going to be a lot different to my other videos where I profile a deck and play some replays. I mean I'm going to do that as well but in this video I want to focus more on the analysis and the matchups. So you, you have a reason why I think this deck is uh, a lot better than um, other decks. Um, but before we get into that I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsors YGOSingles.com um, if you play the TCG, um, which I know some of you guys do, make sure you check them out. They've got really good prices on most of their cards. And if they don't, let me know and I'll try to get them. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have a chat with them. <laughs> yes, so if you use the discount code TIMMYMON, you get a 5% off. And you um, and also, at the end of this video, we're going to give a giveaway from the um, draw a winner from the end of the last video. We're going to draw a uh, winner at the end of this video from the winner of last video, if that makes sense. Okay, <laughs> let's get into this profile. Um, this is the deck I used against Miguel Joker. So this list um, you would have seen um, in my last video. Um, but in this video, I'm going to explain a little bit more. So we have three Abyss Soldiers, three Whales, three Hammer Sharks. These are standard. Um, I guess, yeah, the most, uns uh, the most unique card is Screech. I talked a little bit about this last video. But I'll talk more about this in this video. We play Tuna. Um, I think this is standard now. And we play three Fishborg standard. See South Attacks and uh, you have to play these. And Rebreath is a little bit less standard. Um, so yeah, so let's talk about the card choices. Screech, we play this instead of the Gishi monster. Because um, this is more utility. So um, not only can this one card pretty much set up Whale by it itself. Um, you can also use it with uh, with utility by putting Abyss Soldier into the grave. Um, or I've never put Hammer Shark, but you could put Hammer Shark into the grave and powerful rebirth it back. Um, probably nine times out of ten, you're going to put uh, Fishborg and a Citadel Well into the grave. But um, you know, it, it, occasionally you, you do want to use um, put it, use it to put Abyss Soldier. Uh, soldier. Um, yeah, so. Another reason why I think Screech is so good is because against your worst matchups, um, it helps fixes your hand. So, um, and um, yeah, it also means you, you're able to play your your other dead cards, or not dead cards, cards that don't help you to set up your whale on the first turn. You can you can bluff these as um, Screeches. So if they they can't attack into your Fishwork Plunder because if they do attack into your Screech, they lose. So they have to hope your hand is brick enough that um, you know, they just, they just can't attack you and it gives you uh, um, additional turns to actually get um, get off your combo um, Yeah, so you know that actually happens quite a lot when people find out you're playing um, Screech especially in tournaments um, They won't attack into your uh, set monsters and occasionally you can set hammer shark and it's quite big defense goes up to 17 with Yumi um, Yeah, that's pretty good so let's talk a little bit about the matchups um, and then a little bit about the technical play of this deck. Um, so the matchups, I just want to cover the, the most um, important matchups. Um, so for, this is in view with the KC Cup in sight. So for the KC Cup, my criteria for a good KC Cup deck is a deck that beats the free-to-play decks. The, the, the most competitive free-to-play decks, which are Aliens and at the moment Sylvans. Uh, this has a pretty decent silver matchup. I won't say it's auto win. It's, uh, it's quite a good silver matchup, but I do feel like um, Aliens is pretty auto win. So it, because this set can beat both of the, those decks, um, that already gives this set um, a higher value than um, a lot of other decks that I might be considering. Um, and it's also got, um, I would say, a 50-50% win rate against the next best deck, which is Red Eyes. Um, but Red Eyes has a bad matchup against Aliens and um, and and uh, Sylvans. Um, not only that, this has a quite a positive matchup against uh, the Flying Fish deck, which is is quite similar to this deck. I mean, well, it plays Palfrey Rith and Hammer Shark and the other fish. But um, yeah, it's got a pretty decent uh, matchup against that. They have to really open really really well to beat this. Um, whereas um, you can either have just a bit soldier and bounce the monster every turn and attack the game or you can um, set up a whale and then they can't win so unless they're able to pop your whole field on turn two um, they usually can't do much and they have to go first so that's the other thing they have to go first and they have to draw well um, that's also not an auto win because 
uh, they do play Super Rush and they can beat you, but it, it's a pretty pretty easy matchup. Um, the other thing is, in the KC Cup, we, we tend to see a lot of uh, gimmicky decks, like cancer decks, and this deck is one of the best anti-cancer decks, so I'll show you one of the replays later. Uh, it's really good against um, Stall, it's good against Burn, it's good against, uh, I don't know, yeah, just cancer decks, because Abyss Soldier is, uh, is one of the best cards at the moment. It's almost like Snipe Hunter, but it's guaranteed, so you don't have the RNG. So you can summon this, bounce anything, and um, bouncing it to the hand, usually it's bad, but um, because your whole deck is water, so everything you draw is usually a card you can discard. Uh, this is usually uh, really, really good. Um, what other decks do I want to talk about? Probably um, there'll be like old decks like Gladiator Beast and um, Ancient Gears and I don't know, Hazy Flames. You know, this deck beats um, pretty much any trap deck because of um, your Whale and your Sea Stealth attack. Um, so, yeah, that, that's enough about the um, the good matchups. What are the bad matchups? Actually, I almost feel like this has no bad matchup except for Cyber Angels. Cyber Angels, I feel, is the only deck that beats it because it doesn't target and, um, yeah, it doesn't target and they can just kill your whale. Um, and also, if you happen to leave your Fishborg in defense, they can also piercing this for game as well. So, Cyber Angels has a really good uh, water matchup. But yeah, again, it's not auto win, but it's a really highly, highly favored for the Cyber Angel player. Um, you can beat them because of the power of Rebirth sometimes. You can um, Rebirth something to play around the Dakini, and you can keep your whale on board. You can activate double C self attacks to um, pop through all their defensive uh, uh, ritual spells from the graveyard that protect it. So um, it's not auto lose, but you have to know how to play that matchup. Um, I don't have any replay for that, um, but maybe I can talk more about it later, depending on how long this video goes. Um, yes, so that that's the only bad matchup. I guess the next bad matchup would be like um, a red eye zombie deck with like a a lot of cosmic cyclones. So cosmic cyclone has become popular in red eye zombie decks. I think most red eye zombies should be playing one at the moment. Um, but if they're only playing one, you know, most of the time you'll beat them before they draw it. But if they play more, then um, you're going to have a harder time to beat them. So that's also why I play three Cosmic Cyclones in my Red Eyes build. Because um, I know how powerful water is and you actually can't really beat this without having Cosmic Cyclone. Um, yeah, it, it's just quite hard to beat it. So I guess any deck that can summon uh, a 2400 attack monster with a Cosmic Cyclone um, can have a good matchup against this deck. Um, I, I think heroes have a okay matchup, and maybe like Sylvans, if you play a lot of um, hate for this deck, can also have a good matchup. Um, yeah, so those are the decks that I, I, I feel like if I um, didn't have Whale, I might consider heroes um, as one of the decks that I'll play for the KC Cup. Uh, it's a little bit different because that's a slower deck, this is a lot faster and more brainless. Um, so you, you won't spend a lot of time when you're playing this, but you will play Heroes. So maybe we'll talk more about Heroes, because Heroes is a deck that I I've, every day I think is be, uh, getting better. Um, but anyway, this is my whale video. Um, so yeah, okay, those are the things that I think are um, good against whale. The other cards that I think are good against whale are Divine Wrath and Ultimate Providence. Um, and Super Rush Headlong. So... Um, Oops. So if um, if you're having a hard time against this deck, you can consider putting more Divine Wraths, Ultimate Providence, and Super Rush Headlongs in your deck. Um, you want to stay away from too many targeting cards, uh, like uh, it, uh, like okay, you have to play Enemy Control. Maybe like um, I can't think of any like Snipe Hunter or something. Uh, those cards aren't as good. Um, but yeah, um, Divine Wrath on the Whale effect is quite strong, and also Divine Wrath on the Abyss Soldier is very strong. Um, so yeah, if you're playing a deck that um, can't play Cyclone, you, you might have to consider playing Divine Wrath to beat this deck early on. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get into the replays and try to talk more about it with um, with the replays. And then we'll, we'll, we'll do a live game and some more analysis. So let's get into the replays now. So I forgot to mention that this deck is really uh, pay to win. So at the end of this, um, the replay and the live game, I'm going to talk a little bit about what you could change to make it a little bit um, less pay to win. I don't think you can change much. 
Uh, but yeah, I guess we can have a look. Um, so yeah, we're playing King of Games, so King of Games is not the most competitive, uh, but this game, uh, these games, I'm able to show you a little bit about why I think this uh, variant of the build is the best. Um, so here we open Shriek, if Shriek was, okay pause, if Shriek was the Gishki card that every other deck plays, um, sure it sets up your field, I mean it sets up your next three draws, um, but with uh, Shriek, if they don't deal with it, I'm able to set another monster and then just summon this because I have C stealth attack. I'm pretty pretty good, um, and this also gets me the um, uh, the <laughs> the other fish that comes back, uh, fishborg. Um, so I'll have a fishborg to protect my field as well because I can um, banish it with C stealth attack to protect my spells and traps. Not only that, um, Citadel Whale thins my deck, so I'll only have one more trap in the deck. So that's something that um, is, is quite good. Um, you, you have to think about that all the time. You don't want to melt any traps. Not only do you lose the trap, you also don't get the monster that turn. So um, th this, is, um, this is really good for me. And our opponent is actually playing the old version of water. So he's probably playing, he's, uh, I checked his deck list. He's playing Legendary Oceans, uh, but he, he didn't open up with it. Um, so I actually draw Fishborg and I decided to not use my uh, uh, tuna. Uh, alternatively, I could have summoned tuna. Um, tuna get out um, the uh, shark. Shark um, summon the fishborg and still make this play with the extra shark on the board. Uh, but I choose not to because, um, yeah, I, I don't want to lose to an enemy controller. So I ended up setting my monster. So if my opponent um, is not toggle on, he can't actually activate enemy controller. So uh, if I set, I get the priority to summon and then now he can't activate enemy controller because whale protects all my waters. So that's another advanced uh, skill that you, you need to learn when playing this deck. Uh, so here you, you see I summon the fishbowl after I see stuff like I had to that time but um, I'm happy to just trade because um, every turn I get to summon whale um, whereas he doesn't have anything. So. Here I actually opt to take direct damage because I know when Whale comes back I can kill this without killing it by battle so my Whale will stay. Um, so um, I constantly try to keep an extra monster up because um, if I have an extra monster up uh, then my other cards will be protected when I banish this. So if he has a, I don't know, um, a storm I could banish it to protect my Whale, I mean my Yumi and my other traps. Um, and, and powerful rebirth face up is actually fine uh, because what we could have uh, done is when we draw abyss dweller abyss soldier we can actually discard our cards to bounce our own cards um, so yeah um, was there anything else I wanted to talk about no <laughs> okay let's get into the next replay so I'll keep talking so you can actually bounce your own cards so if you have like a dead hand with all monsters, you can actually just use Abyss uh, Dweller, Abyss Soldier, to discard a fishbulk to start milling your O cards because it will help you to mill into your whales faster. So you can even bounce your your field spell. So I'll show you a screenshot of a. Um, actually, no, I won't. Maybe, yeah, <laughs> I better not. Um, so this is up against Ashizu. Ashizu uh, is playing one of these new decks, so against in the Casey Cup, you don't know what you're going to play against. Um, and our hand is pretty pretty decent. We're able to summon a lot of monsters, um, but we we have to realize that um, our opponent is um, probably playing the new trap. So if I summoned, uh, so here I could have summoned a turn one whale, but I want to play around the new trap because it negates effects. So if I did summon shark, use its effect, it gets destroyed. I would have no follow-up play, even though if, it, if I went first, I would have the best hand ever. Um, because I'm going second, um, I can eat just lose to another monster. Um, so here I use the effect. So now I, I think it's um, not the trap anymore because he let my effect through. So I just try to summon one. Uh, so, so here I'm able to summon it. So it's better to play safe. Um, I actually go for a, a double whale combo. Um, so, yep. 
So again, yeah. Again, I, I use fresh bog after. Um, oh, I should. Be, okay, of course. So I should be using fresh bog after I um, I search this every time. Um, so what happened there was um, I was getting no delays. So I thought, okay, maybe um, there's a chance it's a wall of D. If it's not, if whatever other trap it is, wall of D would be the worst case scenario. So um, I could attack into this monster and not die. If it was any other trap, I could, um, yeah, uh, I, I wouldn't die. So wall of D would get me the closest. So here, um, I think this is actually one of the the most well played games I have. Um, here I'm able to banish it. He can't attack this because of sea stuff. And I'm able, I'm able to summon a second whale, uh, clear both his monsters, and then, yeah. After I clear both his monsters, I can banish out my first whale to get full attack again. Um, so yeah, our opponent's deck is not a very meta deck. But you're gonna reverse other decks um, like it, and I guess um, what you wanted to do was just that first turn play to uh, be aware of what possible ways you can lose. Because we had such a good hand, we had to play um, what possible ways we can lose, and then um, sort of um, play perfectly. So if if we had made the other play and he did have the negate the effect trap, um, is it a negate effect? I think it's a negate an effect. Um, then um, yeah, we would have just straight lost. Um, but yeah, and we also played around Wall of the very well. We attacked into his uh, monster with the, with our not whale monster. If we attacked with whale, our whale would have died because um, our sea south wasn't face up. Okay, um, going back in, going into the third video, we're up against Odeon. and uh, th this replay is good. Um, this is this replay. Um, I think it's quite a long replay, I can't remember, but um, this replay is what I wanted to show um, you guys when you're playing against the Cancer matchup. Um, yeah. So actually, when we first start, I don't know what our opponent is playing. Uh, in the back of my mind, I always think Odeon is playing Cancer. Um, so here, we, we open okay. I mean, well, I realize it's Cancer after he summons his monster, right? So he, he opts to attack, so this is a mistake from our opponent. Um, I, I just send Fishborg and a Whale. Um, so what do I do here? I summon Fishborg to get my other one, to uh, my Shark to summon my uh, Planter. To search out, um, so I have to have Sea Stealth Attack up first because I don't want him to floodgate anything. Uh, I don't want him to floodgate my Whale when it comes out. Uh, so yeah, I summoned the um, hammer shark first. If, if that did uh, end up getting flagged, I, I had my other fish walk in the graveyard, so I could still try to uh, make the whale. But I, I always want to search my sea south attacks before I mill, because it saves me from milling the um, sea south attacks. Unfortunately, I milled the powerful rebirth here, but now I know uh, eight out, seven out of eight cards are going to be water monsters. So I summon a second whale here. And this is another thing I want to talk about um, when we get to his turn. Uh, in my opponent's turn, every turn, I want to banish my monster so he cannot lava go. So this is um, this is really good because um, you know it, it just means that lava golem doesn't do anything against our deck. If lava golem did, lava golem's a good out to whale because um, yeah, you can tribute both your whales. And we, the water deck will run out of resources. But if I know that they have Lava Golem, or I, I, I suspect that they might, um, I can just banish my monsters to uh, play around it. The other thing um, is that Sea Stealth Attack is once per turn. But you can activate, you can chain your second Sea Stealth to your first one. Um, here, I'll show you. Um, here. Oh no. So yeah, I'm playing around his trap cards. Um, but when, it, when we come to his turn, uh, at, in his uh, standby phase, I'm gonna banish both to play around Lava Golem. So for the um, for the entire game, he's gonna have two dead cards in his deck. Um, I make a mistake here by attacking with uh, Abyss Soldier. I should have attacked with Whale first. I I guess I wasn't thinking about Amazonas Willpower. Um, 
and I have a habit to attack my lowest, mo weakest monster first from the TCG. Um, again, I'm, I'm trying to banish both my monsters so I can play around a Lava Golem. Um, so I won't let a Lava Golem hit me. The other cool thing about uh, Sea Self Attack is you can banish monsters to make room for a Rebra. So you can actually put an uh, additional um, 2000 damage or so on the board. Uh, so if they were to block two attacks, you can uh, use Rebirth. Rebirth also protects you from damage, so it's, it can work defensively as well. Um, here our opponent is trying to um, not die, <laughs> uh, but we have two whales to negate two target monsters. And then he has a, um, what is this, draining shield, he wants to get back up. I can banish my whale for the draining shield's effect so he won't gain any life, so that's really good. And, and this is just this this goes to show you why the sick is so good against um, against cancer. So if you play like this against cancer, you know you're probably just not going to lose. And cancers tend tend to play quite slowly, um, so usually you'll ha you'll you'll have enough time to catch up if you have a bad hand. Um, okay, how long is this video? Oh, quite long. Uh, we got two more replays, and then I'll get into a. One quick lap game. Hopefully it's quick. We're up against Playmaker. You're playing Asa Phoenix. So every time you see Asa, you can just put him on Destiny Heroes. And Destiny Heroes is a pretty decent matchup against us. Um, we don't know what build he's playing. He's playing 20 cards. So he won't have more than one BLS. Um, so our hand is, pro this is probably the worst hand. We have a full house. We got th three of each. Uh, and here I, I opted to attack, uh, it could be Sylvan's, but I have to attack anyway, uh, because my hand's that bad. Uh, and our opponent has Slash Dragon. Slash Dragon's pretty good, but not against our deck. Um, and it looked like his hand, his deck, his hand wasn't too good either. Uh, but since he killed my monster, I'm able to summon a whale, but I missed the mill. Uh, but now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get my mill. I have two C self attacks, so... Yeah, I, I'm feeling confident. Um, yeah, I'm feeling confident. Um, you could even consider playing one C self attack if you're able to search it out before um, you start milling. Um, but for me, I prefer to play two just because it makes your um, Cyber Angel match up slightly better. Slightly better. Um, and also, if you do have to desperate mill, you can still have a second one. Um, so, Fusion Recovery is actually pretty cool. Fusion Recovery is pretty cool. It's a, it's a plus two. Um, okay, so here, okay, here our opponent uh, time sword and uh, left, but um, our our position was really good. Um, the hero deck actually doesn't play a lot of real traps, and because even if they do, um, whale is just so good against traps that um, yeah they can't do much. Um, Okay, this deck our opponent is playing is he's playing a 30 card um, 30 card Magnet Warrior deck, which I thought was uh, Red Eye Zombies at the beginning, but um, it, it was Magnets. And this deck was actually really popular in the last KC Cup, so this is actually one of the reasons why I wanted to showcase this matchup and uh, how how yeah how that how even though like even our bad hands are pretty decent. Um, we got kind of good, hit, uh, this is kind of good um, because Hammer Shark with y Yumi at walls, um, Kazuki at walls a lot. Um, our hand was pretty brick, but um, if you think about it, uh, from our opponent's point of view, there's not a lot, like, I mean, if you're thinking what your opponent might have, there's not a lot that he can have to really beat you here. Uh, I, I mean, a Gaia could banish two and attack over this and then it'll die the next turn. But here, um, you're able to play slowly, and whenever you get uh, Abyss Soldier, you're just in a really good position. And and we ended up getting a Tuna. Um, so Tuna is really good because um, we only have uh, two traps left in the deck, and after the searches, we only have one. So 11 out of 12 cards will hit. So here, I'm feeling really confident because um, everything's gonna. Uh, stay alive and our opponent's playing storm and um sea self attack protects our yumi from storm so um i don't think they have anything to beat this uh this way or left um 
they might have to have like a double enemy controller or maybe a super ratio long um, but they don't have enough time to get it because um, whatever monster we get so we had uh, 10 out of 11 cards um, we're gonna summon another whale and whatever we mill we're gonna mill uh, to summon protection so here uh, our opponent uses uh, and tries to pop it we're able to protect it every time and yeah our opponent knows he has no outs and and our opponent's deck is actually quite a good deck but um it just shows you how much more utility our deck has i mean um recovery our deck has so um yeah our deck has quite quite good recovery as well so even with a bad hand if you have a screech you still have a chance to win um so here we're gonna get into a live one of the reasons why i think this deck is so good to play is because that this deck is quite easy to master whereas a lot of other decks are quite hard to play perfectly like a deck like red eyes or um i don't know cyber angels they have a really high skill cap but this deck is actually quite systematic so um yeah so everything is sort of uh there's only really one right play and i guess the most complicated plays are like with c south attack and like um I guess with your um, with just with uh, the four traps that you play um, and since you're only playing four traps the interactions um, you don't need to know as many different interactions as if you're playing like a range of different traps and like enemy controllers and like just a lot of things so opponent's playing um uh oh opponent's playing star Rangel. so it looks really bad for us here um, and as I was saying star Rangel's is our worst matchup but um yeah, I, I, I just want to like re-emphasize uh, that, you know, it's okay to take one bad matchup if the rest of them are pretty decent. And I'm going to play another game. Uh, and um, y yeah, I would definitely play, like I would definitely take the L. Our, our opponent doesn't even have a uh, Dakini, so we might not even be dead. Maybe he stitches the Kini here and we're dead anyway. But yeah. Oh cool. So we're actually still alive. If we win this. Oh no, yeah, we're dead. So <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, um Yeah, this set is, is quite easy to master. And maybe I'll talk about it more in, in the next game. Uh Oh, if only I had a wall of D. Yeah. Yeah, so... I would definitely play, um... A dig that I would master over a dig that I could play decently well. Uh, just because, um... Then you always know, like... Uh, any mistakes were out of your control um, the, the other thing is if you're playing if you're playing quite a long event um, sometimes it's, it's good to play a more uh, mindless uh, deck just because um, if you're gonna be thinking all the time you're not gonna have the same amount of efficiency by the end of it so um, if you are playing uh, if you are playing something that's more autopilot it also helps you for a longer event as well so um yeah we're gonna play another one because i felt like <laughs> that last game just didn't count but yeah this will be the last one whether we win or lose Yeah, I'm gonna do something, uh, I don't know if this is good or not, but, I mean,
Easy. I'm doing this play because I have a feeling our opponent is playing um, plants. The reason is he's not playing. Um, he he wasn't playing uh, balance, and if it was balance, then I'd think it was um, what do you call it? Yeah, if he was playing uh, balance, I'd think it would be Cyber Angels, and I would have just made a more passive play. But because um, I had a feeling that. It wasn't, um, yeah, I had a feeling it wasn't Cyber Angels, so that's why I made this more aggressive play to put a turn one play along board. Uh, so, here, before I, I want to activate the, I should have activated this in his uh, end phase just so he can't. Oh, he's opting to solemn scolding the um, trap, which I actually don't think is that bad for him. Oh, it's really good for him. What have I done? I should have definitely used it in his end phase. And I shouldn't have set the rebirth. So that was a, a huge mistake on my end. Gonna summon the planter just in case we mill a whale. Uh, we didn't. So here, I guess I have to attack. So Harvest is gonna add his scolding back, which he, he can't use. So yeah, that was so bad. So <laughs> I was talking about how this deck's easy to play perfectly, and then I just make like a, a bunch of mistakes. Um, which in my defense, that deck is not a very common deck. So that's a scolding. Um, I'm actually like the best draw would be like a trap because then I'd have like a really high chance to hit these. But actually, it's not a very low chance, but it's not like the worst chance either. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna save the abyss. I have to be really careful that I don't lose this trap because it's my last trap. Our opponent looks really cool, by the way. I'm, I'm putting that on a golden. Do I, do I even activate it here? I think I do, because... So we sit in there. Yeah, our opponent's seek is really cool. Try to get another whale, so I'm just gonna keep moving. Yeah, we got another whale. I'm gonna keep the abyss soldier. So yeah, I. I really have no idea what our opponent is playing, like what traps he might be playing. Hopefully none of them can target, like, hopefully all of them just target. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed um, the this, this video, um, hope that some of my knowledge about this deck could be imparted to you. 
Um, yeah, so I just want to spend a little bit more time really quickly just to talk about different tech cards. So I guess like congratulations if you made it to here. Uh, fish depth charge. So this is um this is a tech card you can put in because these are all fish. These are all fish. Um, you're, you're able to just um, use it to clear stuff. Um, and it's it's chainable. It's so it'll have like a really funky toggle, so people won't know if it's sea stealth attack or powerful rebirth or what. Um, so, yeah, so fish death charge is pretty good. Uh, if there's like specific uh, cards you need to out, enemy controller, um, it's always good. Um, Wall of D, um, you could consider playing one. So I played, I've, I've played all of these tech cards before. At, at, and so I played all of these tech cards before so I played 21 cards and just played them uh, and what else uh, I also played uh, the Yumi trap Yumi Umi I also played this because I wanted to play around the um, cosmic cyclones so when they cosmic cyclones my field spell I could chain this and then my traps will still work um, so the interactions uh, with my abyss soldier um, yeah, when I don't get to Abyss Soldier back my trap in any of those videos, but that actually happens quite a lot. Um, so apart from the, yeah, those are all tech cards you could play. And if you don't have any of these um, other cards, so um, Shrek was in a pack that wasn't so popular, or it was popular before, but not anymore. So people, maybe they only have one or they don't have any. Um, if you don't have any, of course you can't play this build, but if you have just one or two, I would consider just playing one or two, and if you've bought this pack, then you would definitely have the Gishki card, so you can play a, uh, a copy of the Gishki. Um, or even if you only bought the pack twice, you, you should have, um, you should at least be able to play this build. Um, yeah, you can even consider playing more Rebirths. Um, Personally, I would want to keep three Abyss Soldiers if I had three, just because I think it's the MVP. So, if you have access to, to the stick like this, I think even this is, is quite powerful. Um, but uh, for, for my personal builds, I would still rather play um, Shrek. It, it just fixes more card, uh, more hands than I think Gishki Chain does. Gishki Chain does. Anyway, that's it for this video. We're gonna really quickly get into our, uh, our raffle winner. Um, okay, so here we go. Here's um, we're gonna do the raffle for the last video. We've got uh, duplicate users, 125 unique ones. It started the random raffle winner, and congratulations to Kyber Boy. I'm here for Miguel Joker. Nice video. I have to. Uh, if you're Kyber Boy, please uh, private message me to get your uh, win, uh, your prize. So yeah, thank you very much for continuing continuing to support me and yeah peace out guys this is it for, for me for today and we'll catch you again later see ya